everybody and welcome to lesson six. Now in lesson six we're going to be talking about some basic accounting principles. Now accounting is the way in which a business keeps track of where all of its money is going. Now today we're going to talk about three main things with inside accounting that will help you keep track of the money in which you gain and spend. Now the first two things that we want to talk about is debits and credits. Now a debit is when money is coming in to your business, okay? If you earn money, it's a debit. However, if you spend money or if money goes out of your business, that's a credit. Now, if you were to add these two things together, this is where you would get net income. This is the total amount of money that you had come in and out. Now, to make this maybe a little bit more clear, let's look at a really cool example. Hello everybody, now let's take a quick example. I'm going to play the store owner. Now as a store owner, I need to make a purse. So in order to do that, I need to buy some materials. This will work perfectly for a purse. And so I'm gonna to have to spend some money or take some money out of my bank. Now here today to help me explain this, I have some of our other fellow Enactus members. They're going to represent money, each one of them $10. If they're in a red shirt, they're a credit, and a green shirt, they're a debit. So let me buy this fabric for $30. 10, 20, 30. I've now just spent $30, and I have this fabric. So if I make this fabric into a beautiful purse, now I can sell it to one of our valued customers. Here comes one now. <laughs> hey, would you like to buy this purse? I would. Oh, great. It's just $40. Perfect. Got the money right over there. All right. So now I'm going to bring in my debits. 10, 20, 30, and 40. Now let's look at this in a T-chart. Okay. So now that we've seen our example, let's put this all into a T-chart. Now, in order to do this, we need to put debits on one side and credits on the other. Now, when we bought the material, that was $30 in credits. So, we're going to write $30 on the credit side. However, when we sold the purse and got rid of it to our customer, we made money. Money coming in, we made debits. So, we had $40 in debits. Now, once we have these two things in our chart, we can now take it over here and do net income. Now, net income is simply debit, your debits minus your credits. Okay, so let's do this. 40 minus 30 equals $10. Our net income is thusly $10.